Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. I am tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a series originally launched back in 2021. This is the Oris Aquastate Caliber 400. It's 41.5 millimeters in diameter in yellow, gold, and stainless steel, 13.6 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip, 48.1 millimeters, and it uses a proprietary junction for strap and bracelet. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it wears beautifully, comfortably, handsomely. Take that Rolex bluesy. This is a wonderful wearing watch. You can see the lugs are actually angled downward and they fit beautifully on a smaller wrist. I can see a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference wearing this really well. You can see the lugs come nowhere near the edge of my wrist in this down the barrel shot. And though there is a bit of an outcropping to the bezel, the overall thin profile of the watch means it will slip underneath the dress cuff. And from over the top, you can see that this angle always exaggerates the width of the watch, but the lugs are still not out over the edge of my wrist. The bracelet is beautifully made, tapered down from the lugs, polished outer links with satin faces, satinated center links, plenty of gaps between the links to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping wrist heat, a high-grade bracelet. You can see that the removable links are fixed in place using screws, and that we have some intermediate sized links in there in case you do find yourself in between sizes. We also have a snap in, snap out, extensible dive link, and that dive extension allows you to wear over a wetsuit, a dry suit, or even cold weather clothing such as sweaters or coats if you want to wear your watch on the outside of your sleeve during cold weather. There are also three pairs of divots drilled into the clasp that allow you to use your strap tool to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp. We have twin trigger release, which is a nice feature on a watch like this. You can also see that the clasp and the swing arm Thick gauge steel, this doesn't feel cheap in any way, even though it's a stamped part, the thick gauge nature of it means it feels like a luxury product. And again, the twin trigger is something I welcome on a watch in this price point, because a lot of times at this level you'll see snapshot friction fit clasps or a cheap stamped clamshell twin trigger is a little bit more upscale compared to that. Now there is a cool quick release system that Oris has introduced on this series of watches with the Caliber 400 movement. And sometimes you need a little bit more fingernail than I've got, but you can see how there is a clamshell that pops open on the underside of Oris's factory bracelets and straps that allows you to quickly and easily remove the bracelet or the strap from the watch, and you need nothing more than your fingernail to pop it off or pop it back on. We'll leave that off for now because we're going to take a look at the movement. You can see the case is different than a Omega or Rolex dive watch as the lugs are stepped out dramatically from the case band. The case also has a conical profile, so it slopes inward from its base, has satin finish and profile, and the lug hoods are polished. You can also see the tops of the crown guards, the lip of the bezel, as well as the crown polished. The crown includes a combination of media blast and polished, and you can see the crown guards are modular, held on by screws, so if they get gouged, they can be removed. We have a bezel that is... A wonderfully chunky 120 clicks. The bezel insert is in ceramic for scratch resistance. And then we'll do a loom shot so you can see how the bezel can be used against the minute hand as a timing instrument to gauge the passage of 60 minutes. Also note that all three hands are loomed, which I love on a diver, because you should always know, even in the dark depths, that your watch is running if you're using it as even a backup dive timer. I do like that bezel. Now the yellow gold and blue and gold bezel gives way to a, well, blue and gold dial. We have a gradient or fumé fade from the center, light at the center, dark at the edge. We have applied indices, which is a nice upscale feature on an Oris. We also have plenty of loom. We have a little note that this is a 30 bar or 300 meter diver. We have both a hacking seconds function, a stop the seconds and a quick set date so you can rapidly cycle the date. You can admire the font. Now, flipping it over, the namesake of the watch, this is Caliber 400. 
It is an automatic winding twin barrel five-day power reserve Oris exclusive movement. Now, Oris boasts both a 10-year warranty on this movement and a 10-year service interval on the basis that a watch priced affordably should not force you into repeated and exhaustive high-priced servicings. So this is designed to keep you out of the service center for a decade. Now, taking a quick look here, you can see that it features an anti-magnetic, unlubricated silicon escapement. And this movement has been tested against 2,250 Gauss. And on the basis of that exposure, it varied only 10 seconds. Whereas the ISO 764 dictates that an anti-magnetic watch must vary by 30 seconds or less when exposed to 200 Gauss. So this was fully 11 times, even more than 11 times that, with one third of the allowable variation. You could see Oris uses a micrometric a rack and pinion fine adjustment as well as Etichron for fine adjustment and beat error correction. It's a four hertz beat rate. It has two mainspring barrels, which allows for a very even torque curve. These are barrels in series and their curves are phased. So you're right in the fat plateau of the torque curve from almost the beginning of the power reserve to almost fully energized. So if you keep this energized, you should have a very flat torque curve and consistent torque to the escapement. And the watch has been tested over 24 hours in five positions like a chronometer to run no worse than minus three plus five seconds per day, which is better than the minus four plus six seconds per day of the actual chronometer test. And then all of this pivots on 21 joules. It is an impressive feat of engineering. And again, a five-day power reserve like a Blancpain 50 Fathoms. If you love this watch, reach out to me. I am T. Masso with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.